hello so in today's video we're going to look uh, through how to create uh, your account with Texas Board of Nursing if you are actually looking forward to practicing in Texas so after you've done your CJFNS application or you've done your Joseph um, seal very evaluation of your credentials and it's time to actually re register with Texas Board of Nursing okay so that once your report is issued it will be sent to Texas or whichever Board of Nursing you are actually registering with so today I'm going to do a quick video how to walk you through the registration process to the payment part so guys follow me as we go so the first thing you need to do is this is bond.texas.gov okay and this is the welcome page for texas board of nursing the next thing you need to do is to navigate via this the texas nurse portal just click on it it's going to bring you down here then you click on click here to go to the texas nurse portal so for those who have an account already you just log in here uh, for those who don't have someone like me that I don't I used to have anyway I have with them <laughs> I, I still have them that's how you can see my login details uh, so today what we want to do we want to create an account see how you feel all the various from as an international applicant trying to apply to Texas Board of Nursing to practice nursing okay so just go to create account okay then you agree to the terms and condition there is asking you a few questions do you have of have ever had a license with texas for nursing well it's no because you're actually applying to them for the very first time so i'm going to pop in one of my emails right now so i've popped in my emails and i've checked the, sec the security verification to ensure this is not a robot filling the form okay so i'll just click on continue and just wait for it to go so an email has been sent to my account so i'll just head back to my account right now okay i see the email that has been sent to me so here is my account i'll just go to this particular one so as you can see the email has been sent i'll just click on this link to verify the email address that i own, actually own the email address so i'm just going to go ahead and fill this form put the password they're asking for my first name middle name last name date of birth do you have a u.s social security number well i don't have that because i'm applying as international applicant i'm going to put my password my telephone number and all that so just go ahead and input that right away so all details are filled right now first name near upon last name where you were date of birth password and all phone number and all that so just click on create account and just wait for it to go so okay so i'll just um just update the password so from what you can see here this is my account officially i have an account with them right now so what are the next thing are you applying as a register are you applying for to registration as in as a rn or lpn so whichever so where do i go from here that's one of the things that people usually struggle with okay but that won't be a problem don't worry i'm going to show you all around so just go to apply for license then now you need to choose which one particularly do you want to apply for which of the licenses do you want to apply for so just go to here NCLEX application international graduate including Puerto Rico so this is the particular one that you are going to apply for okay now if you already have if you have you've passed NCLEX before you're practicing California you want to practice in Texas and all that that's when you use this endorsement okay you endorse you endorse your certificate you endorse your practice license to texas and all that so if you've um one reason or the other you didn't do well in your exam and you want to retake the text you you didn't do any NCLEX. you want to re want to re retake it that's when you, you click on NCLEX retest application but if you are applying fresh you just click on NCLEX application international graduate and like then you click the rn or if you are applying for 
license vacation and all the LP and you just click on whichever one. So just click on and then I just want you guys to know this is for demonstrate this video every information that has been put here is just for demonstrative purposes so to guide you to show you how these things have been done okay so just click on next so what do i need to do here do, I, do you need to do anything here no you don't really need to do anything here. so you just click on save and continue okay so here you need to fill and select one or two information so when you look at it here asking you for um, suffix whichever if if you don't have any it's not a must just leave it and go if you don't have any if you have um you know asking for media name if you have you put it if you don't have just let it go it's asking for social security number obviously if you're an international applicant you won't have social security number what's your gender whichever gender like non-binary whichever is just put okay what's your race okay are you black african america or just white cultures and uh, american indian and other you are black african america but depend on the location where you are anyway for me i'm going to put or just when you put others it's going to ask you to type in okay which of the orders are you doing you just put africa okay Africa, okay. So just type in African, but you can choose, can choose not to answer. But why would you want to practice nothing in a particular ju jurisdiction? And you don't want to answer where you came from. It's not see if it's having any legal implication on you and all that. Are you of Hispanic or Latino origin? You just say no, okay. Then. This is it's gonna ask you some questions here. In accordance with nursing practice art, blah blah. A primary state of residence is determined by the following document. You may be requested to submit one or more to satisfy residency requirements. You know, as an international applicant, you are going to be declaring, I am declaring a non compact state. And what what have you? This is the whole story, which is read them through. Okay. Then it's gonna ask you your country, then depend on which country you are from if you're from nigeria you're just going to put nigeria okay it won't ask you for state <laughs> okay then residential address then here you put your resident address um i'm going to be prefilling one of my address in nigeria okay this one of my addresses in nigeria i just prefer that uh primary phone cell phone just one of my uh numbers just prefer that here so basically this is what you need to do at this particular page okay it's under the general information we started with license application type which is the array the next thing now is general information and that's what we've actually inputted here okay everything is in order so we're just going to click on save and continue now so we are in the educational history segment okay please provide the name of the nursing program where you complete your initial nursing education so if it's outside the united states you just put the country i completed my in nigeria okay what kind of program type um is it the rn program yeah i complete the rn program it's going to ask you what's the name uh program name okay it could be diploma in nursing associate degree so just put, if you have bachelor's you just put bachelor of nursing science so i have bachelor i'm going to be putting uh, i'm going to put in bachelor of nursing science just walk through okay country is nigeria the the program types are in registered nurse uh, program name bachelor of nursing science address you put the address um okay city and the likes did you these are the options are you expecting expecting graduation both graduated and it's, these are the options under here what kind of program did you bachelor degree nursing or bachelor degree in other fields but baccalaureate degree okay so it's asking for month and year i graduated it okay so i'm just going to put month is John is uh, 2018 okay 2018 so if you have 
um, if you have other inf other information, you just um, need to add it here now. Okay, just go ahead and add it. Okay, if you don't have, is if you don't have, all you just all you just have to do is just click on. Just a note. Okay, so we have people who their first education is actually diploma in nursing. Okay, so you need to add that first if you done a diploma you need to add that first diploma in nursing general nursing then after that if you've done your bachelor's you add your bachelor's to it okay then you just click on add okay add your bachelor's to it but i am i don't i'm not adding that i'll just take it off so educational basis for licensure now you know some of us who I've gone for the school of nursing that's the basis for our licensure so you just have to put uh, what's it called you just have to put the diploma in nursing because that was the educational program you went for for you to be licensed however if it's yours is bachelor's obviously once you click here it's going to bring bachelor of nursing science for you but if you had indicated in one of these places or this place this place is that yours was uh diploma in nursing when you click here it's going to bring you the option of diploma in nursing so you don't need to do anything that you just check drop down arrow just pick that particular one click on save and continue okay they're actually making progress now it's asking for any class information the question is have you taken n class before if you've taken n class before you just say yes if you have one just say no okay testing accommodation indicated if you require testing account do you require any special you know people who have um but mobility issues do they need any special requirement that's what they mean then you just click on save and continue then when you get to this part it's going to ask you some questions which usually no no yes yes have you ever had any disciplinary actions no have you ever had investigation complaint pending well if you've never had just say no but if you've ever you 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 click yes then we're going to give you they're going to give you a pop-up to explain okay for any criminal offense including this um, including those pending appeal have you or exclude class C, you know, be arrested, convicted of misdemeanor, convicted of felony, and blah blah. blah. Uh, if you have not been, if you have not been convicted or charged with anything, you just put none of the above. Okay, are you calling the target of jury, government agency investigation? No. If you are, please put yes. Okay. Have you ever had license other than nursing regulatory authority in the state jurisdiction and no council? No. Are you currently of suffering from any condition or which may be which which you are not being appropriately treated that that impairs your judgment or that will otherwise adversely affect your ability to practice nursing in a competent just so uh, no have you in the last five years been addicted to if you have addicted to some just put yes are you currently participating in alternative to discipline diversions or peer assistance program? No. Have you ever been granted the authority to practice nursing in any country? Don't come and say no here. Here is a yes because you probably in your country you have been granted the authority to practice nursing. So I'm just going to put the country. I'm just going to put Nigeria. That's the country. Okay. Have you practiced nursing by using your knowledge? No, nursing on the skills and ability as a registered nurse within the last four years, of course. Yes, okay. Then it's going to ask you to sign your application and fee. You said your application and fee will remain valid for one year from the date of receipt. All fee are not refunded. So basically, after one year, you need to do we the application to texas board of nursing in which you will now pay like 70 something so i think about 75 anyway we're going to see how much you will be paying in dollars right now so the question let me certify by entering my name below i'm the person apply for licensure with texas board of nursing and medical education required by texas law and what have you and all that so if i understand that if i have any question regarding this affiliate i may be i'm May contact an attorney if required. So you just know what enter. Please enter your full name and today's date. So you just um, 
I'm going to enter my full name now. Then enter today's date. So in America, is usually I think usually the the month the month first before the date. Yeah, the month comes before the date. So just okay. Three. Then I'm going to enter save and continue. So now it's actually to preview all the information you've entered. The license type is RN, application type N, NCLEX application, Tananja graduate, my name, mail, other African, I don't know, my address, educational history, I put my bachelor's, the address, uh, when I graduated, um, other, other texting, junior texting, whatever uh, accommodation we provided. No, have you taken any class before? No, have you ever had a display action? No, no, no. Then you just go on and show all the information that you've submitted are actually correct to the best of your knowledge. Okay, then you click on this. I, the enclave candidates whose name appear within this application currently the document is a legal document and attest that I understand and meet all requirements for the type of licensure requested as listed in section 301 252 301 uh, subsection 253 you can go and look for the practice act <laughs> you just click on it and go to make payment so the payment fee is actually 75 okay so you actually don't the next thing you need to do now is to go on and do what make payment okay you say cancel do leave this field or proceed to make payment you click on proceed to make payment so it's opening up the payment page then uh contact information that's the person making this payment okay uh yeah it came down that's where my contact information then put my all my address then click on next then put now it's actually to put my card details but you know this particular application we're actually not making payment for it because it's for demonstrative purpose so i'm going to take you down to after you've made payment how your how your application is going to look like and what and what you need to do after that so guys follow me so immediately after payment it's going to bring you down to this page okay so in this page you will see submitted license application rn international processing the date is also submitted application id and you can view the status of the application so i'm going to click on you can also download the application copy and view the status of the application so i'm going to click on and click the status of the application so that i will see how far the process is has gone and what and what you need to do at this point so this is the next stage after you've clicked on view your application so all tasks that need to be done so basically you have submitted an application yeah you submitted an application now your application will be approved only when you've taken the end class exam so what are some of the things that you need to do right now so usually one this license verification of licensure and CS report usually if you are using some CGFNS once CGFNS have issued your report they will send it to Texas board Texas board once you receive it they are going to mark this okay it's going to be faint like they're going to mark it that you receive it you don't need to do anything sometimes if you have to do anything you just contact CGFNS okay uh, so you sorry if you have to do something you just contact Texas and tell them that CGFNS has issued your report. Can you people kindly update? They will say yes. They will go on. They will tell you, okay, we're going to update it with this this timeline, and they will go ahead to make the update. Now, if per venture your CGFNS verification came after six months you started, they're also going to update your license verification. However, if you are still in the process and it gets to a year from the day you apply for you submitted an application to texas board it gets to a year your license verification will need to be done again 
but your CS report because they're an academic evaluation that remains your, your transcript does not change but your lesson status could have become inactive and could be active and all that so they will require you doing this one after one year to submit your application then uh fingerprint uh you have to do this with identigo okay you go to you click go to identigo you go to their website and apply for a fingerprint they will probably send you a card or you download the card or you get the card from someone then you don't print your fingers as a special way you do that then you email it back to uh, identigo then they will verify it send the outcome to texas board and texas board is going to update this then you need to also sit for the jurisprudence exam the jurisprudence exam you can take it as many times as possible there are materials online youtube videos that you can actually apply for that you can watch to be able to take the jurisprudence exam but seriously you can take it as many times as you pass okay so once you pass it they're going to tick it for you Pium. you see tick okay i'm going to show you one something like that where everything was actually ticked and all that i'm going to show you one then endless exam endless spending because you've not taken the exam you need to be authorized to go and take the exam okay but for now because this has not been ticked 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 you can actually not go for endless exam okay even if you apply to go and take the endless exam authorization to test will not be sent to you you can check my other video on how to apply for authorization to test create account to write your enclaves and the like so i'm going to show you an application where most of these things have actually the person has completed all of the above and everything has been ticked i'm just going to show us right now so this is a typical example of someone's account that uh what well, will i say how will i say the person has taken the class exam and the person has passed you see the person happens to be a nurse in the united kingdom okay uh nurse in the united kingdom uh, the license verification was done january 18 2023 nigeria was also done like verification of all the licenses has been done the person has taken the NCLEX exam as part as you can see that's been ticked application submitted and all that so this is how your page is going to appear if you have done jurisprudence exam so jurisprudence exam is not showing here because this person application i think expired the person will have to reapply okay uh, let me show you guys the when the application the one that expired and how they tick everything in details like the jurisprudence exam the cs report and the likes let's let me take you guys there so this was the first application the person made when everything has not expired but i think as of january january 2023 it got expired so the person will need to reapply again for because usually one year your application with texas but expire after one year all you just have to do is you reapply so you see license verification everything was done uh, verification from nigeria was done the cs report the cd weight was tick the fingerprint ticked the jurisprudence exam tick uh, application submitted tick but because this person has not taken the end class exam back then before the application expired so it wasn't ticked i think if you are taking the english exam and passed it you are going to see it tick like the first one that i showed so guys that's how it works i hope you'll be able to find your way around and know where you are at any point in time when you are applying to texas board to do your um uh, to evaluate to join the texas board to practice as a nurse please guys Refer others to my YouTube, like my YouTube channel, subscribe and share. Thank you very much.